everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. I have a project share this morning. Uh, I, I've said before that when I work on things, I always have several projects going on, and that really is the way I craft. So um, I had bought this bee dye, and I hadn't had a chance to play with it. And it is by Carnation Crafts. And um, and when it came in, I just kind of tucked it away and didn't do anything with it. And that is this die right here. And it is called the Busy Bee. And it comes with these like little lace pieces. And then it comes with uh, the bees. And you do get one free artwork with which is the original artwork and then you have an option to buy um the other colors because they do them in different i think it's like five different uh colors that they do their artwork but um anyway as i was playing i took out my little um my little this is a an embroidery hoop die that i have and I've had it out because I've been making embellishments for the sewing machine. Um, so I took it out and I decided to just go ahead and cut it out and craft cardstock because usually a hoop is made of wood, the embroidery hoops. So I went ahead and did one in, in the craft color and then I, um, after I cut it out, I went ahead and cut out another circle with just a regular circle die. And um, I ran it through an embossing folder, and I'll share that one with, with you. It is a... I cut out the circle, and I ran it through this Anna Griffin embossing folder. And this one uh, says, For My Dear Friend. And uh, what I did was, is when I added the circle, I didn't put the circle die cut right in the center I kind of moved it a little bit to the side because I knew I was going to put flowers on this side of the circle so I wanted my sentiment to be more to the right so that's what I did I kind of you know moved my circle to the left so that my sentiment would be more to the right and I ran it through my embossing folder now the way I use these embossing folders and get a really nice embossing on it I use my Big Shot, and I'm just going to pull out the plates so I can share with you how I do it. I put them in my, um, I put it in my, my Big Shot plate, but I only use one of the clear cutting plates. And so I'll add my uh, paper to the center, whatever, whether it be a rectangle piece of paper or in this case, the circles I was using, and then I'll add it in there. And the only thing I put on top of that is my one clear embossing plate. I open up to the, uh, flip open tab two and just leave tab one. And then I just put it in there and I run it through my Big Shot machine and it does a very nice embossing and it doesn't, uh, I don't break anything or ruin anything because I have ruined, I ruined a brand new embossing folder that my friend Sabrina had gifted me um, because it was a 3D embossing folder and I forced it and that wasn't good. And so now when I use it, there's a little crack or a little dent in my embossing folder that also transfers onto my my paper. So that's that's how this worked perfectly for me. So if you have a Big Shot and you have these, just make sure you are on the pink, on the tab one, your embossing folder with your paper in it, and then one clear plate and run it through, and that works perfect. So that's how I did that. Now, these Anna Griffin folders are not new. They have been on the market for quite a while. And I'm not even sure if she even has them on her website anymore. But um, I bought mine used on eBay. And I, got, I paid 20 something dollars for, for a whole set with all the inserts. And what happens is that these have inter interchangeable... 
uh, sentiment. So if I wanted to change this one out, all I do is pop it out and replace it with a different one. So there's a front and a back to each of the embossing folders. And I would just snap in the new one that I wanted in there. And that's what I would do. So I would have to switch out the front and the back. And they do have an arrow pointing up. So that gives you the directions on how they're supposed to be. There's an A and a B. And the arrow should go up towards the name Anna Griffin. So, but I love these. And um, I haven't used them all yet. But I think I have bought like three sets. So anyway, that's how I got the embossing here. To do the the gold on here. Now, the, this was kind of an afterthought. When I did it in white, it looked really, really pretty, but I wanted the embossing to stand out more. So I used a pink pen, but as you can see, you know, like I got a little bit there. Uh, there's a little bit right there that I wish I hadn't, it hadn't have done that, and it did. So I would say just try it out, test it out. Maybe use ink in your embossing folder before you run it through. I wouldn't use an archival ink because then you won't be able to get that off. But anything like a stamping up ink or a distress ink, anything like that. And even the embossing, um, I think you could even do embossing uh, glue and then emboss it afterwards. So I'm, I might test that out and see how that works. But in this case, I had already done it, so I, had, I did color it in with my ink. Now, what I was really wanting to play with was my little bees, and uh, I had already cut it out. And they do come with the bees, like I said, and as you can see right there, that little lacy piece, it's like a crescent, like a moon. So you get two different ones of those, and then you get the bees and the smaller ones and the bigger ones. I have a little pile right here that I cut out that I'm going to put away. So here's the bigger one. And I have actually two different colorways right here. So it's more of a white and the yellow and white or grayish. So these are the two that I had already printed out. And because I'm cleaning up and I only have one sheet of that, I decided to just go ahead and cut it and put them away or use what I was going to use. Now, for these flowers right here, I always get a lot of questions. Well, what do you do with your scraps after you print something out and you have like a border? Like, isn't that waste? Aren't you wasting paper doing that? And you could, you, I mean, you could waste paper if what you do is cut out your image and then throw the rest away. But that's not what I do. I cut out whether they be pine needles and white for it, that I can use during the winter for my Christmas cards or embellishments. Or in this case, I cut out some flower petals. I just cut them out with the scraps of white. And then I added, um, I painted them with uh, the Tim Holtz. I think this is worn lipstick. And I used a little bit of a darker, not darker green, but more like a lime color in the center. And I'm trying to think which, I think I was an alcohol marker that I used there. I'm not even too sure, and I just did them yesterday, guys. I think it was an alcohol marker that I used there, though. And um, and then I just added a little bead in the center, and I kind of just curved them around my uh, hoop. And these are tags. These are embroidery hoop, hoop tags. So it says, for my dear friend, I added a bee here, a bee here, a little piece of lace uh, that here and one up here. Now... Afterwards, I was looking through my dies and I found this one from Carnation Craft and it had all of these little nice little leaves and I wish I had, had cut this out before because I really, to be honest, I probably would have used this instead of using the, the lace that I put in here. I would have used some of these little branches in here uh, because I think they're beautiful. So anyway, I'm going to share with you how I do those flowers. On the back of this one, I did cut another hoop. So you could see that it was a hoop because where my bow is in the front, it covers that hoop that where the little nut is to tighten the hoop. So you couldn't really see that. Um, so I did another one to go in the back. but And I cut another circle as well. And I embossed it. And I love the way these came out. So there's one. And here is the other one. 
and I put two of the little bees on each. So if you're doing any type of bee themed uh, projects, I love this little carnation craft one. But of course, you, they are from the UK, but you do they do ship to the US, and I get mine pretty quick. Before I know it, my 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 um my things are here, and I'm gonna show you. From all the scraps that I had left, I cut out a bunch of petals. So there I have these flowers where I didn't waste and um, and now I have flowers. So that's another little embellishment that you could add to your... Like if I was doing that for Happy Mail, which I probably will give it away, I can actually add a pack of these flowers as part of the Happy Mail as well by, by using the scraps. So I'm going to show you how I made that. So the die that I use is this Carnation Craft one. And I'm just going to put one together for you. So that way you guys can see. And um, so I, I'm actually just going to cut, cut a piece off of here because I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to trim it off here and cut my flowers out. And that way you guys can see how easy these things are. To put together and you don't really waste so let me go here let me cut all of this off so normally all of this normally all of this would be waste but I'm not gonna waste it so I'm just gonna snip it there and I'm probably snip snip it here and I get as many flowers as I can get in to my um, and my scraps so there it is all I do and I do cut into my uh, little magnetic sheet and this is the mini impress that I use and I'll just put it there and I'll take my flowers and I'll you know just fill it up with this one has two types of flowers because some have four petals and some have five petals so in this one I'm gonna get all these petals flower petals out of here and I'm not gonna really waste anything and run it through my machine Let me move this out of the way. like I'm not gonna do these right now I'm just showing you how um, you really don't waste anything because you can either add this to your scraps and do it later or you can just go ahead and cut them out now look that there's the waste right there this little piece right here and this little piece right here but this set does have some little leaves that I could probably cut out of here if I wanted to uh, let me share that see it's got like some little maybe berries and then it's got this little uh, like a pine needle and a leaf that I could cut out and I wouldn't be wasting anything but for now I'm not gonna do that I'm just going to set it aside and maybe do it afterwards. So let me take these out of here. And they do tend to get a little stuck. They want to cling to the mat. But I just take a pokey tool and take them out. And I don't have to worry about anything sliding around or using uh, washi tape. I, although I do have to replace a magnetic sheet, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to take out my glass mat. And because I rearranged, guys, I actually did make room for a tuck-in underneath my countertop where I tuck in my glass mat when I'm not using it. And when I need it, it's right in front of me and right underneath my countertop. So let's do a... Let's do these. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush. And grab a couple of things here. So this is the one that I use, the worn lipstick. And in this case, I'm going to mix up. Wait a minute. I think I have another five petal one. So I'm going to put the two five petal together and the two four petal ones together. And all I do is really just rub along the edge here. Like I just wanted a little bit of pink on it. And I didn't do it in the back, but you can if you want to. I'm just going to do it here because 
my flowers really aren't are not going to be made to be seen underneath just the tops like that's how easy this these flowers were and I didn't waste paper and I didn't add to my my ever-growing uh, scraps and once in a while I will sit down and punch out a bunch of pine needles and just leave them white because I do really love to use that during the during the when I'm making my Christmas cards so there's that and now I'm going to use my blender and I'm just going to add a little bit of green I think I used a Copic yesterday but today I'm going to just use this and just add a little bit of green there to the center like it's no biggie I love the combination of this uh, kiwi color with um, or lime with a very pale pink I hope you guys can see what I'm doing I think I am in frame and I'm just adding that little bit of green in there in the center you can either pull from the center out or just drag it in from the petal into the center however you want to do it now these uh, flowers do have a little bit of embossing in them so you'll see lines in it now I'm gonna go with my middle color and I'm gonna add a little bit more of that darker green in the center just a little bit nothing crazy I just like to add a little bit of it in there and I was using one of my Copics yesterday which that is brand new and I noticed that the nib was seemed like it was disintegrating somehow for some reason it was falling apart and so I didn't pull that out today but that's what I used yesterday uh, let me wipe this really quick so all I did to shape my flowers I didn't even wet them you can wet them if you want to but I didn't let me grab my pad Hopefully my phone won't turn off because it tends to stop recording and then start all over again. And to create these flowers, all I did was take my ball tool. And this is not a real big one. It's a smaller one. And I just uh, applied a little bit of pressure to the tip of the petal and drag it in like if I'm erasing something. You know, you do want to add a little bit of pressure. And then all I do is just press in the center with the ball tool. So that's the five petal one. So I'm just going to do this one because you guys get the gist of it. Flip that over. And let me put this away really quick. And then all I'm going to do, I do have a little sponge that I like to keep. Uh, when I'm gluing things together my glue all I'm going to do is add glue to the center of to the back of my flower and then I'm going to offset the petals and just take my little ball tool to press it into the center but because I have it in the sponge it's going to cup it And there is my flower guys so that is this piece of scrap paper that normally either we would throw in a scrap bin or throw away in the garbage so I didn't want to do that I wanted to do something else with it and because I had them ready I decided to use the hoops and the bees because I had all that already uh, pre-cut except for the hoop but I had the bees and I had the scrap pieces of paper that I had created flowers with um, but anyway if you know and then I could add some of my little branches to create a little um, here this one a little flower arrangement on my hoop or a little envelope or whatever I'm doing I love 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 these little branches and then just start building on there but look how beautiful that is I think it's in frame anyway guys that's all I have to share with you today I do have another project that I want to share with you, but I, um, 
it's going to be a little tutorial as well and I'll give you a sneak peek uh, it is this little teapot from uh, heartfelt creations but what what I did I created it to be uh, a gift card holder as well so and I want to share with y'all how I did that that's why I want to do it on a separate video but that's for the next one anyway guys thanks for watching I hope this helps you and gives you an idea what to do with your scraps bye